Pinnacles National Park, such an underrated gem. Get out here, maybe come when there isn't a heat advisory. It is 95. We've been good about staying hydrated and been taking it slow, but yeah, I definitely think I'd be enjoying myself and not be cutting the day short if I had cooler temperatures. Check out the reservoir that we did the big, what is this, Big Bear Gulch or Big Gulch? Bear Gulch? One of those, I'll put it on the screen. If you're seeing this video because you're interested in visiting Pinnacles National Park, definitely have a flashlight on your list of things to bring because with the cave systems in there, it gets pretty dark. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That was a trip that I took with my family back in summer of 2023. This video is a little bit on the shorter side, but I wanted to condense the week-long trip that I had in California and really isolate Pinnacles National Park. Such an underrated gem. We had done some light research prior to going. Honestly, I, I feel like it's easily one of the most underrated national parks that I've ever been to. And it doesn't get a lot of buzz. So if you're in the area, Santa Cruz, it was only about like an hour and a half drive. Definitely go out and check it out. Uh, if you're new here, hi, my name is Nathan. I hope you liked the video. I have a lot of other videos on the channel that touch on travel. So feel free to check out my last video. Um, it was a recap of my Colorado trip and I definitely have more travel theme park videos coming soon. Please hit the subscribe button if you're new here. I really appreciate it. It helps out a lot. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Thank you for continuing to support me on this journey. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching through to the end of this video. Hit subscribe, 
like I said, and stay tuned for more adventures to come. Bye.